right, so I already showed you the initial setup on here and the refrigerant fill procedure into the internal tank on there so it has refrigerant to work with. And in the future, I'll show you how all the operations on this thing work, all the functions work on a vehicle that I bring in for service on there. So from start to finish, how you work this machine. In the meantime, I just want to show you some of the cool functions that are on this thing. They're quite advanced uh, compared to even a couple of years ago. So it'll start up on there and it'll show you the refrigerant amount on the internal tank inside of there, what's available for charging vehicles. So you have the option to recover, vacuum, or charge. So when you bring a vehicle in, you're going to want to hit recover like usual and it'll actually do a self check and make sure the pressures are high enough and there's actually refrigerant to recover. Now at this point it's saying what are you doing or hey turn the couplers in so I can connect to the vehicle's AC system. It's kind of like a, a dummy check I guess you could say. So we're gonna you can hit yes or no, hit no and after that we hit the vacuum and finish boiling off the refrigerant out of the oil and the moisture out of the oil in the system. And it starts off at 10 minutes on there. You can, of course, go up or down on there and pick something else and just hit start on there. Now, what's nice if it, is if you haven't changed the uh, oil inside that vacuum pump in a certain amount of time, it keeps track of it. It'll tell you, hey, it's time for an oil change in the vacuum pump guy. Do you want to do it now or later? So it keeps giving the option. And then on the charging on here, hit charge and then it gives you the uh, up right up here is the amount we're going about to charge into the vehicle so you can go to different uh, measurements two pounds just pounds kilograms which is the most accurate or pounds and ounces on there and you can just adjust it like this and they simply hit start and it'll automatically charge the specified amount of refrigerant into the vehicle now of course you're going to charge with oil and dye and everything else beforehand, but I'll go through all that in the actual repair video. So a few different cool functions on here. It has a filter in here that locks out after a certain amount of refrigerant uh, poundage has been uh, um, recovered on there. So you don't, you have a quality filter at all times filtering the refrigerant that's going back into the internal tank from the vehicles you're pulling it out of and stuff like that. So we'll go through the menu functions on here. Tank info. It'll give you the PSI of the tank and the temperature of the tank. So that's nice to know. Service menu for the guys that come out and work on it. A calibration check. All you got to do is hit yes on here. And I'll tell you to attach a, a calibrated weight that comes with the machine to the bottom of it. And it knows how much... Uh, has been added to it at that point because it's a very precise piece of metal. Let me show you it here real quick So it, it should when, when it's doing the calibration check and you put that piece of metal on there It should raise by what it, it's programmed that piece of metal weighs Exactly and here it is big old hunk of steel is what it is But it's very precise so it, it you know weighs just the right amount and it can be used for a calibration check on there before they used to have a ball that was on there, but I guess everybody started playing with those and losing them. So they went to a, a cylinder type on there. You can adjust the tank fill volume. Let's say you want 20 some pounds in there instead of 15. You can adjust that. I think it's set at 15. Manual refill if you connect to the tank and you want to fill it again. And then this one I think is for, yeah. It gives you all the information for everything that's been um, recovered on the on this machine so you know when your lockout is and everything like that so I've recovered nothing obviously so far so obviously you filtered nothing and I've obviously charged nothing so far the replenished right here is the amount I've uh, I filled the internal tank with like I said 15 pounds is a standard on there so what of that what else they got maintain filter and the filters on these have uh, uh, a code on them that you got to put in the machine on here so it, it releases the lockout on here or else it will lock out and you can't use the machine no more and that's to meet those specs those SAE specs on there so once you go into maintain filter it'll basically suck all the lines and everything out so that there's no pressure back there when you unscrew the filter back there and your vacuum oil like I said earlier if you if it's time to change the oil in the vacuum pump you can do it now and they'll basically run it 
for about two minutes, get it warm, and then when you do the drain, it'll come out, you know, better, just like an engine in your units that you're used to on there. And of course, the software version that's inside of here, your language. So there's a lot of cool functions on here, and what's nice is that it's it's all automatic on here. The recovery, the vacuum, the charging on there. Those machines that are a step above this that have automatic recovery, um, vacuum, and charging, you just push a button and you walk away. Those ones are a pain to use and put all the information into the screen here. So we actually had a machine like that at the dealership. We never freaking used it. So this one's a step below that and has everything I need and it's all digital on there. Everything's so perfect on here.